Downtown Spokane came alive on Saturday as thousands of individuals gathered downtown to celebrate love, equality and acceptance at the Pride Parade and Festival. This festival only comes days after Spokane's downtown Pride mural was repeatedly vandalized. Our Hunter Bertram shows us how the hate did not beat out the pride of this community. I started doing this three years ago and had kids coming that said their own family never hugged them. And that's not right, you know, um, so I'm very glad to give free hugs. This is Todd Eklund. His shirt says free dad hugs. His belief is being there for those whose dads didn't accept them as who they are. To support friends and family. Um, you know, we have a lot of friends in the, in the community that I feel it's important to support, and love is love, man. Love is also what shined bright through rainbows, bubbles, and even our four-legged friends. However, love isn't always embraced in Spokane. The pride mural next to Riverfront Park has been burned and covered in tire marks over the last month. It didn't work. It didn't work. You look anywhere here and you see the love, the pride, the support for each other. Hatred didn't win again. Despite these repeated acts of vandalism, our community showed its resilience, repainting it again and again, showing love and support for all that feel different in our community. We're here. We're here and we're ready to accept you and hug you and love on you um, and be supportive of you in any way that we can. Protesters still came out to voice their views, but this crowd decided to be louder. Spokane is a safe place. You know, you are accepted, you are loved. I'm not gay, but I will love you like my son, my daughter, my brother, or my sister. Pride in Spokane showed strength in numbers and beauty in color. In downtown Spokane, I'm Hunter Bertram for News Now.